Okay, that's right. You guessed it. In today's video, I'm going to go over the difference between farsighted and nearsightedness. And when I do that, I like to start with farsightedness. What does it mean to be farsighted? This is your eye. This is the lens in your eye. The lens in your eye is a convex lens and it is a converging lens. So when you're farsighted, light comes towards your eye. Light strikes the lens in your eye and the light, because it passes through that convex converging lens, is converged. But guess what? It is converged too far away. All right? It is converged behind the retina. Farsighted, too far away. Okay? Now, another term for farsighted is hyperopia. Most people should be familiar with that term hyper too much. Right? Your parents tell you stop being so hyper, stop running around. Too much energy, but this is hyperopia. Okay, not hyperactive, hyperopia, but it still means too far. Now, we already said light rays are focused behind the retina. Now, another way you can think about it is that the eyeball is too short. Some people will times, they won't say something about the lens or the, uh, the light rays focused behind, or the reason they're focused behind is because the eyeball is too short. Or the lens cannot become round enough. This is the lens in your eye. There's actually muscles attached to it. And those muscles could relax enough and your eye could change. You, you, the, the muscles can actually change the shape of the lens in your eye. But in this case, you would want your eye to be, the lens to be more round. So it would shorten the focal length and the focal point would come in here. But in your case, your eye can't do that. That's called accommodation when your lens changes shape, when you look at things close and far away. Okay? Now, objects that are far away are clear. You're farsighted. You can actually see things that are far away. Hyperopia, far, hyperopia, see things that are far. The, lens, the focal point is behind. It all fits together. It's all too far. Or all has to do with far. Now, obviously, if you can see things that are far away are clear, that means things that are near are blurry. And when you go to the doctor and the doctor says you're farsighted, then he's going to correct your vision with converging lenses or a convex lens. So when you get glasses and you're farsighted, to correct your farsightedness, you're getting converging lenses. Or contacts, you're getting converging lenses. And they have a special shape so that you can put them in your eye and it doesn't hurt. Okay, so you get a converging lens. So now you have two converging lenses, one in your glasses and one in your eye. Well, what happens? How does that change things? Well, let's check it out. We have light rays come towards your eye. They strike the first lens. They're converged. See, they come together. And then when they hit the lens in your eye, they're converged again. So they're double converged. And now, if you get the right prescription, they're converged in a way that they meet right at the retina. And you can see clearly. Very nice. Glasses. Okay, well, what is nearsighted? Well, nearsighted is just the opposite. If farsighted, the light rays are focused too far away. Now you have the light rays that come in. They strike the lens. Now they're focused too near. Now we don't really say it that way, but they're focused in front of the retina. Like that. You want them to be focused back in the eye, but now they're focused in front. Myopia, that's the medical term, the other term for being nearsighted. Now we said... The light rays are focused in front of the retina. Now, some people might say, oh, the eyeball is too long. Your eyeball is the wrong shape. Or if the muscles in your eye could flatten out this lens, pull the lens, flatten it out, then it would move the focal length. The focal length would become longer and move the focal point back to the retina, but it can't do that. Sometimes it happens as you get older. All right? That's also called accommodation, as I said. Now, objects that are near to you are clear. Objects that are far away are blurry. Nearsightedness, you can see things that are near. Now, when you go to the doctor, you say, oh, you're nearsighted. We need to move the focal point from your lens. We need to increase the focal length of your lens. So we're going to now put diverging lenses, which is a concave lens. So when you are nearsighted and you get glasses, they have converging lens, excuse me, diverging lenses in it. Okay. And same thing with your contacts. They're diverging. They're, kind of, they're special shape again, so you can put them in your eye. Well, I couldn't find one. I couldn't make one, a diverging lens uh, on Keynote, so I found one, a picture, and I put it in there like that. What happens? Let's see. 
the light rays come to your eye, they strike the other kind of lens, not the not the concave lens, not the convex lens, but the concave lens, and they're diverged. That's why it's called a diverging lens. So they spread out and then they're reconverged, so to speak, or they strike the lens in your eye and they converge. And now, because they were first diverged and then converged, they strike the retina right there and are focused right there at the retina. You can see. Okay, that's all there is to it. Nearsighted and farsighted. Hyperopia, myopia. Okay, and the lenses that are used to correct it. Thank you very much for watching that relatively straightforward, simple explanation, the difference between farsighted and nearsightedness. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you can do one or hopefully all the three things. Click right down there below, give me a thumbs up. Type a couple letters in there, give me a nice positive comment. Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. And we will see you, especially when we have our glasses on, we will see you in the next video.